It was to be a private ceremony, but poor Coquitlam residents just couldn't stay away. In the rain, they gathered around the old municipal hall, waiting to catch a glimpse of Terry Fox, the hometown hero they're so very proud of. This was a big day for the handsome young man. His grandmother was in from Manitoba, his aunt and uncle from Alberta. The whole family wanted to witness the occasion. Fox was more than halfway across Canada in his marathon of hope before cancer forced a halt to the run. This afternoon, he became the youngest person to ever receive the Companion of the Order of Canada. In the citation, the words read, uh, they desire to build a better country. And certainly, in a way that perhaps you could never guess would happen, you have uh, indeed succeeded. I'm not a very poetic person, but I call to mind uh, two lines from Edwin Markham's uh, A Encrypted Dream. Brave soul that took the long and painful road and helped create a dream that could not fail. That's you. I've always demanded a lot for myself and uh, expected a lot. And when I when I ran across Canada, attempted to, the attitude I had in doing my very best was something I've always done. And to me, it wasn't a special thing. And uh, it was it was special because I I knew the effort I was putting in. But um, that's why it was hard for me to understand how I could be a hero. And. Uh, but I, I think it is a great honor. I, you know, I, I've heard a lot about how I've had a part in maybe helping unite the country, each province. I really, I, that really makes me feel good. It was something I dreamt of a lot of things on my run, but that was something I never expected. So it, I think it puts an added bonus on the whole thing. After a quiet reception in the council chambers, Fox and his family left for home. He still has thousands of letters and cards from well wishers to go through. And in a couple of weeks, he'll have to return to hospital to renew chemotherapy treatment.